Hi everyone and welcome back to the Frontiers monthly news from the label. We have had a very good feedback from the fans you know, after the first time that we have uh, launched this new initiative and we really appreciated you know, all the positive uh, words from you guys. So we thought to give you another shot of news from the label. We, as you know, are going to celebrate the release number 1000 from the label and uh, the release number 1000 is this great record from Edge of Forever. Edge of Forever is the band featuring Alessandro Del Vecchio, who is you know, one of the most esteemed producers in the scene right now. And uh, he also features uh, Aldo Lonobile on guitars, Nick Mazzuconi on bass, and Marco Di Salvi on drums. You may be familiar with those names, since those are also members of Hardline, Secret Sphere, and Labyrinth. This is a real Italian hard rock supergroup, and you will find some amazing melodic hard rock here. There's also a very touching tribute to the late Marcel Jacob, and uh, I really, you know, advise for all the fans of you know, classic hard rock and melodic hard rock to check out this really amazing record. Another amazing release which we are going to have on December the 6th is House of Shakira's new album. This is the band's ninth record and every melodic hard rock fan will know this band. They released a, a, an absolute classic debut album, Lint, in 1997. This time the album features Andreas Novak on vocals and is a really uh, an amazing record which goes you know, very much in the style and tradition of the band's sound. So I really advise you know, all melodic hard rock fans to check out this great new album. Still on December 6th we have the fifth album from the Swedish uh, cinematic metal band The Murder of My Sweet. The Murder of My Sweet is a really original and peculiar band. They are hailing from Stockholm and feature uh, the beautiful singer Angelica Rilin on lead vocals and uh, producer and drummer uh, Daniel Flores. Together with them we also find Christopher Vetter on guitar and Patrick Janssen on bass. A great production, a really cinematic and symphonic sound, uh, very much in the style of Within Temptation, Nemesis and Simeral bands. So if you like those bands, you should really check them out because this is a band that really is worth your attention. December the 6th we'll also see the return of one of the most beloved melodic hard rock singers ever. I'm talking about Mr. Tony Arnell, which you will know from his experiences in TNT, Westward and more recently in Skid Row. Tony has decided you know, to join forces with Alessandro Denvecchio production and songwriting and came up with a great melodic rock release hailing back a little bit you know, to the sound of the classic TNT albums of the 80s like Tell No Tales, Nice on the New Thunder, I mean the stuff that the fans really want to hear from him. So enjoy this amazing new record which we know that you will love because a lot of you guys have asked us you know, to bring back Tony singing this music style. As we hope you know, we at Frontiers are really committed in finding great new rock talent. And one of those bands that we really feel has something you know, different and interesting is this band, A New Tomorrow. A New Tomorrow is a band that features two Italian members, including particularly former Artemis and PowerQuest singer Alessio Garavello, and two British members. So this band 
is really interesting because they have really melodic hook liners, even close at times, you know, to Harem Skyrim, while their, you know, riffing is very heavy, you know, and sometimes it reminds a little bit of Alter Bridge and a little bit of old Metallica. So enjoy a new tomorrow in their debut universe. So last but not least, on December the 6th, Frontiers will be releasing the new live CD DVD from the legendary British rockers Praying Mantis. Praying Mantis is a band that started their career in the late 70s and was one of the bands that you know, started the new wave of British heavy metal. They have some real gems of albums you know, behind their belt and especially, you know, the debut album Time Tells No Lies is a true classic. So this is a record that was recorded at the, at the band's appearance at the Frontiers Rock Festival in Milan, uh, actually Trezzo Sull'Adda near Milan, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a real, you know, great and energetic performance and this comes in a package with a CD and, and DVD. Check this out if you like the band and if you want, uh, want to discover a great British hard rock band which you know, should be really uh, on everyone's list. So let's now talk about you know, what the label is preparing for the new year. On January 24th, the label will be releasing the third album from Revolution Saints called Rise. Revolution Saints is a real supergroup featuring Dean Castronovo on lead vocals and drums, Jack Blades on lead vocals and bass, and Doug Aldrich on guitar. These three guys have created once again a true melodic hard rock masterpiece. This band really kicks asses. It's really exciting for us in January, on January 24th, to release a new heavy rock radio from Yorn. Heavy Rock Radio was one of the most successful releases from the Norwegian singer and his gang. It, it, it featured some of great classic songs, you know, redone in the Yorn unique way. With this, you know, new chapter, which is called uh, the Heavy Rock Radio 2 Executing the Classics, Yorn is choosing some slightly less well-known songs and sees also the return in the lineup of Tore Moren, who is uh, a guitar player that cooperated with, uh, with Yorn uh, a long time ago. It, it is produced by Alessandro Del Vecchio and also sees the participation of Reed Sidringsby and the drummer Francesco Iovino, who is an ex-Primal Fear member. We have another new Frontiers you know, project that we created and that highlights the talents of two amazing artists. The project is called Dirty Shirley and features former Dokken and of course Lynch Mob guitar player George Lynch together with uh, you know, the over-the-top vocalist from Croatia, Mr. Dino Jelosic. This is a great record which melts different styles but keeps you know, a very solid hard rock foundation. You really need to check this out if you like Lynch Mob, if you like classic metal, and if you like, you know, a little bit of the new sounds uh, of, uh, you know, hard rock and metal nowadays. Another outstanding release for all lovers of classic AOR is the self-titled Passion debut album. Passion is the band fronted by Mr. Lion Ravares, uh, who is none other than Dan Russell, former Night by Night singer. Dan is also appearing as a co-writer in the Revolution Saints of a few songs, and of course now is offering his debut record of his own band, uh, which is a total and absolute must for all the lovers of 80s AOR, you know, bands like Danger Danger, ACDC, Van Halen, Winger, and you know, all those beautiful great names of the 80s. If you are an AOR fan, together with Revolution Saints, you should check out the band De Carlo. De Carlo is a band who sees, you know, the involvement of Mr. Tommy De Carlo and his son Tommy Jr. And you must have heard about Tommy because he has been singing for the band Boston for the past few years. So this is a, a complete classic AOR album 
which you will need to check out if you like the sound of bands like Rio Speedwagon, Boston and, C and Survivor. We have the complete you know, pleasure and honor you know, to welcome to the label one of the most legendary hard rock bands from the United States. The name does not really need any introduction. It's Blue Oyster Cult. As you know, the label has signed Blue Oyster Cult for a new record, which will see the light of day probably after the summer of 2020. In the meantime, we will be releasing some uh, reissues from the catalog and also some uh, uh, unreleased and new live product. Uh, the first of those releases is uh, Alive in Cleveland 2014, which uh, sees the band offer a great performance of their, you know, real classic. Last but not least for our uh, January releases is uh, Michael Thompson Band New Live CD DVD High Times Live in Italy. Recorded at Frontiers Rock Festival 2018, the band also includes Larry King on vocals, Larry Antonin and Guy Allison, both from a early child on bass and keyboards, and Sergio Gonzalez on drums. This was really a, a one-of-a-kind show, the only show that Michael Thompson band held in Europe, and uh, includes songs from uh, the then upcoming uh, Michael Thompson band album Love and Beyond, plus songs cherry-picked from the legendary debut album How Long and the follow-up. Just check this beautiful live record if you, if you love you know, classic OR and tasteful guitar playing. So now let's take a look at uh, the releases which we're going to have on February 14th. On Valentine we will bring you a good load of great rock music again. And I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Black Swan. Black Swan's debut album which is called Let's Shake the World will be, will be seeing you know, some of the greatest you know, known faces in, of the hard rock world. Uh, we have in fact Mr. Robin McCauley uh, Mr. Red Beach, Mr. Jeff Bilson and Mr. Matt Starr. I mean, these guys know how to rock and they will show it to you with a new release, Shake the World, on February 14th. Check them out. Let's now talk about Archangel. Archangel is a new project put together by the Frontiers label and uh, uh, sees the involvement uh, of uh, the former Savatage singer Mr. Zach Stevens together with Aldo Lonobile. They joined forces uh, and they created a really amazing album which is called Fallen and will be released on February 14th. And let's now talk about Seven Spires' second album Emerald Seas. Seven Spires is a, a, a really peculiar heavy metal band from the United States, from the Boston area. You may know the singer Adrian Cowan. Adrian has sung recently for Sasha Payeth's album Masters of Ceremony and also appeared live last year with the Aventasia project. So this is a really one of those bands that we could scout you know from uh, from the underground and we are that we are extremely pleased you know to present to the fans. Another band that we are launching in February on February 14th is Waiting for Monday. Waiting for Monday is a new band from Los Angeles which sees uh, the alliance between two of the greatest talents of the scene right now. Guitar player August Zadra. Together with the singer Rudy Cardenas, they have created an amazing melodic rock record which will make a lot of fans happy. So I really advise all the OR lovers to check this band out because they will be you know, taken by surprise by how, by how good these guys are. So let's talk a little bit about you know, some of those new signings that we have recently announced. Phantom Elite. Phantom Elite is a band uh, which is located between uh, Holland and Germany and features actually a Brazilian singer, Mrs. Marina La Torraca, which you may have heard of because she also participated in a very popular Exit Eden album. Another well-known face which is involved in Phantom Elite is uh, uh, Sander Gomans. Sander Gomans used to be in uh, uh, After Forever and uh, also cooperated with his wife Amanda Somerville in the Trillium albums. Another really heavy band 
is a, a new signing from France called Rising Steel. This is finally the first band from France coming to sign it to the label and it's a, it's a classic metal band, very much uh, in the style of Hammerfall, in the style of Judas Priest, uh, in the style of Nevermore. So, I mean, if you like those bands, you should keep, an eye, keep your eyes and ears open for these guys from France. Even Havier is the band Sculptor. From the rock city of Curitiba in Brazil, Sculptor is a death metal band and uh, they play uh, a style in between, you know, In Flames and Dark Tranquility with uh, some darker influences like Tiamat. There's also a great new band coming from Sweden. It's called Arctic Rain. This is a band that features Pete Alpenborg. You must have heard about this guy because he cooperated with a lot of Frontiers releases in the past. This is a record that, that will really, you know, be a delight for the years of all the lovers of classic Scandinavian AOR. Think about, you know, Heat or Work of Art or, you know, the early Eclipse stuff. Before finishing, I just want to tell you about something that is still in the works. I want to hint about two returns during 2020 of two great keyboard players but in two complete separate things. Both are coming from the United States. I will not say anything else at the moment. I just want to hint about this thing and melodic rock and melodic hard rock fans will be really happy of this return. I promise you. So thank you for checking out, you know, our Frontiers news. I wish you all a Merry Christmas, a really happy and rocking 2020 stay with us and keep checking our website and social sites to have you know all the news in real time and follow us on twitter facebook or whatever social you like merry christmas and keep rocking yeah.